According to industry research, by 2018, the majority of software projects will be Agile-centric. That means Agile has become vital, not just to startups, but to the enterprise. And it will need to scale to solve the inherent complexity and communication challenges of large organizations. So the first question becomes, how do you scale Agile? You start with the team, the foundation of any Agile environment. Typically, these cross-functional teams consist of five to 10 individuals. As you scale, you don't make your teams bigger. Instead, you add more teams. This keeps your teams empowered, self-organizing, and self-managing. And most importantly, responsible for delivery of results that meet the customer's needs and expectations. As the number of teams increases, you need to layer in practices that help increase transparency, learning, and flow efficiency, which is really the ability to deliver better products faster. Let's look at three key practices for scaling agility. The first practice is cadence and synchronization. Establishing a consistent cadence of planning and learning cycles that are synchronized across related teams and programs. This creates regular opportunities for teams to plan, check, and adjust together. The second practice is managing work in process, or WIP. Naturally, with more teams, you have more work in flight. So you need to better manage how much work is in process at any given time and maximize your flow efficiency. To do this, you must establish roles responsible for managing the flow and prioritization of work at each level of the organization from portfolio to teams, ensuring the end result is high value and market ready. You must also engage coaches and scrum masters to help reduce friction within and across teams and organizations. The third practice focuses on how teams are collaborating to successfully solve the biggest problems. Agile teams can be stressed as they scale, struggling to understand their role in the larger strategy and facing dependencies that can hamstring their progress. Thus, it becomes imperative that you increase your collaboration, not just within teams, but across teams, roles, and units within the organization. Collaboration needs to happen across time zones and cultures, so you must layer in excellent facilitation, tooling, and technology. Agile is vital to enterprises of scale because as complexity and communication challenges increase, transparency and throughput can decrease. Adopting the practices of cadence and synchronization, managing work in progress, and collaboration will ensure that the team level benefits of Agile move up and out into your entire organization.